How about a John Madden story for us? Tell us a John Madden story, as as you know, and all of you know, uh, the John Madden Memorial was this past Monday. What was your favorite John Madden story? Uh, well, I this may stun you, stun you. Um, I behaved poorly at a Madden Mariucci bocce tournament. Every year, <laughs> Steve and John teamed up and had a bocce tournament. The proceeds, of course, went to charity. Well, I'd never played bocce in my life. I'd never even heard of bocce until this tournament. But, of course, we all jumped in cars every year. We went over to the bocce tournament to support John and Steve in their efforts. Well, never having played bocce, not even knowing what bocce was, one year I decided, you know what, I'm going to coach our bocce team. I'm going to be the coach. So our players were all there, and I decided I would coach them. Well, we won. We won the whole damn tournament. We knocked Madden's team out, and they were, I think, the reigning champs. Well, I went running around the court with my arms extended straight in the air over my head. Kids tell me that's called flexing. Well, I went running around the court like a little nut celebrating and I mean I'm like running up and John John was there I'm like running by him with my hands in the air you know you're behaving poorly when Willie Brown (laughs) you know comes running over and puts his hand on your shoulder and he's like calm down Amy calm down but I didn't calm down I love it a couple days later I picked up the phone and I called John um, because I started thinking about the expression on his face when I was doing that and I told him how magnificent the tournament was and I said look I'm sorry um about my behavior at the end it was a bit over the top well he let me know it was a bit over the top and he let me know in no uncertain terms that my apology was due and owing which it was and he accepted it and we went on to laugh about it for many years so what did he say to you i need i need more insider information i think he i think it just sounds like he was upset he lost he's yeah. probably well, the reigning champ on his face. you you guys i was behaving to, to say that it was poor sportsmanship is an insult to poor sportsmanship. I was just reveling in our win. And oh, I love it. On. And I kind of loved it. But then the expression on his face, if looks could kill, um, you know, it, it, it really would have killed. So I called him up mostly to thank him for, you know, the tournament and the money they were raising and, you know, to talk about that and to say, oh, and by the way, you know, if I overdid a little bit, sorry about that. And he said, yeah, you overdid a lot. And we laughed about it and we went on from there. But it became a source of humor for us for many years. Amy's on my team. That's what I know. I just learned that Amy Trask is competitive as I am. And like when you when you win like a really great like horseshoe match or something that's the way i behave absolutely well, you know here's to us then but you know when willie brown <laughs> who is the king of unsports i mean i remember once we were, this is really bad but it was way 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 before cte was an issue or injury but like i early in my career willie was one of our coaches and we're playing a game and we knocked the opposing quarterback out of the game, not with a head injury, not with a serious injury, but we knocked him out of the game. And Willie Brown is standing on the sideline, and he's looking at the, the opposing team and saying, roll him off, roll him off, get another, get another. So when Willie Brown tells you you're over the top, you know you're over the top. Listen, I'm not going to lie. When I beat my 10-year-old in tennis, I give a fist pump. I'm like, <laughs> you take that, Cooper, your mom, who's your mother? I am. You must be so horrified. So that's a little window into my motherhood, everybody. That's awesome. That is absolute. I wish you could see the smile on my face. You sh- yeah, that's great. Yeah, you can't. You can't let them win. You got to show that ten year old. You can't let boss. them win. And if no you're way. not embarrassing your children, you're really not doing something right. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.